Good morning, everyone. Welcome and thank you for joining us today for the 2021 State Service Award Ceremony. We are here today to celebrate your service to the University of South Carolina and the state of South Carolina. Whether you are celebrating 20, 30, or 40 years of state service, it is an important milestone in your career. This is a time to reflect on the many contributions you have made to the university over the years and that have made us what we are today. We are fortunate to work at the University of South Carolina and perform the work of educating students, conducting world-class research, and serving the community and our state. It is an honor for us to participate in recognizing your successes and your commitment to public service. Across the university system, we have a total of 175 faculty and staff who are being recognized today for achieving 20, 30, and 40 years of service. We have 116 of you who are being recognized for your 20 years of state service. We have 40, excuse me, um, 54 of you that have 30 years of service and five of you actually have 40 years of service. Woo, I would be tired if that was my case. Um, while not everyone could be with us today, we are very grateful for all the honorees as well as the leaders and colleagues who are with us today. To celebrate with us, we have President Bob Caslin. President Caslin has been our president since August of 2019 and has led us during this last year through this, um, the challenge of the pandemic. And we are so grateful to have him as a leader. I will introduce him and he will have some remarks for you all. And then we will um, get started with honoring you a little later. Thank you. Okay, I think that's my cue to go ahead, Caroline. Is that right? Yes, sir. Yeah, great. <laughs> well, thanks so much, Caroline. I appreciate it. And hello, everybody. It's really my pleasure to once again uh, congratulate you, uh, even though we're not, we can't do it in person, but just to be here with you, even virtually, just means an awful lot to me. Someone who has dedicated my own life to public service, serving in the military 43 years and then in higher education this is my third year uh, outside of the military i understand the beauty of service it's a it's a calling it's a special commitment usually service is its own reward but we have an opportunity today to recognize you and to say thank you for your commitment to our university and to the state of south carolina we're really truly honored to be able to recognize you you know, quite frankly, without your service, the university simply would not be able to accomplish its mission and the vision that we have. And when you look back on your time at the university, I'm sure you can name the key accomplishments for which you are most proud. Many of you have helped shape the lives of our students, whether directly or indirectly, and for that I'm grateful. You know, some people have their name on a building for whatever reason, philanthropy donations or whatever but I would guarantee that your names are written on the hearts and minds of every one of our students because of your commitment to their intellectual development. And for that, you can, you can never take that away. Uh, buildings will crumble, but the name in, etched in the hearts and minds of people will always be there forever. You know, in the many years that you've been here, I know you witnessed a lot of change and progress. And it's no secret that this past year has been unlike any other in the university's history, as we've all tried to navigate not only the pandemic of COVID-19, but many other pandemics as well. No one could have predicted that uh, we what would be required of us this past year, but I'm really inspired by the way that you responded. It's a year unlike any other. And uh, even as you were carrying uncertainty and worry that came along with each one of the challenges, when we promised our community that we would provide safe environments to live, work, and learn, it was you who worked the long hours to make that mission a reality. I've heard from many students, from many parents and staff and faculty and community members 
who really have shared their gratitude for our covert response and our ability to remain open since last August. And I tell them it's not about any one of us. It's all about this team, this university team who collaborated and worked together to make it all very possible. And I know it's been a long, hard year for many in our community. And as we approach the end of the second semester living with COVID, I really hope that you're able with this summer coming up to take some time to not only care for yourself, but to spend some time with your family as well. I hope it's a summer of relaxation, recuperation, uh, regeneration, so that when we come back in the fall, whatever the fall looks like, and hopefully it'll be close to normal, that, um, that we can uh, really put our minds and hearts to what we have been doing for so many years. But we've proven the university has what it takes to persevere and to overcome and to emerge stronger and better. Uh, today, as your names are called and as you are recognized, we are giving thanks to you. And you should know on behalf of the entire University of South Carolina community, we all celebrate and we all want to say thank you for your service. OK, so I'll turn the program over to Caroline now. And once again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for your commitment to serve the public and to serve our students as you have, especially in such a challenging year. Go Gamecocks. Back to you, Caroline. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you for those remarks. I know we all felt felt your your praise during this last year. Um, many times those town halls, you were you were singing the praise of faculty and, and staff and supporting um, the university. So thank you for for those kind remarks. Um, we are now going to show a PowerPoint presentation. And in that presentation, you will see the pictures of many of you that we are honoring today. Um, I would remind you to keep your cameras off so this can go as smoothly as possible, but also look for some of your colleagues and friends. As I was looking at the video recently, I saw my bed, my boss, Ed Walton, um, is being honored for his 30 years of service. And two of my favorite colleagues, Tracy Weldon Stewart and Latasha Robinson are also being honored. So look for your colleagues, look for yourself. And again, we're here to honor you today and just watch closely this video and I'll come back and join you at the end. Thank you. Consciously or unconsciously, every one of us under some service or other. If we cultivate the habit of doing this service deliberately, our our desire for service will steadily grow stronger and will make not only our own happiness, but that of the world at large. Mahatma Gandhi. Living the Legacy of Service, the 2021 State Service Award Ceremony. 40 Years Service Award Honorees. Lauren W. Knapp, Associate Dean, College of Arts and Sciences. Michael Meadows, Associate Professor, Civil and Environmental Engineering. Peter J. Nukos, Professor, Mathematics. James E. Schoolcraft, Building and Ground Specialist II, Facilities. Regina H. Tolliver, Physical Technician I, Bursar's Office. 30 Years Service Award Honorees. Karen D. Amarell, Administrative Coordinator One, Civil and Environmental Engineering. Francis J. Bell, Trade Specialist Five, Facilities Energy Plan. Larry E. Benjamin, Trade Specialist Facilities. Deloney R. Bladen, Database Administrator 1, School of Medicine. Jan J. Blakely, Administrative Specialist 2, Baruch Institute. Deborah G. Brown, Administrative Coordinator 2, Health Services Policy Manager. Dwayne C. Brown, Instructor, USC Lancaster. Kelly B. Bryson, Administrative Assistant, Admissions. Wayne E. Carver, Professor, School of Medicine. 
William E. Cotham, Chemist 3, Chemistry and Biochemistry. Timothy K. Crouch, Trade Specialist 4, Maintenance Services. Stacy S. Davenport, Administrative Manager 1, Division of Administration and Finance. Lisa Davis, Administrative Coordinator 1, Law Office. Blake L. Deegan, Library Technical Assistant. Zayaman Deng, Professor, Mechanical Engineering. Willie May L. Dumas, Library Manager 1, USC Aiken. Robert W. Easler, Building and Ground Supervisor 1, Facilities. Peter L. Fisher, Engineer, Planning and Construction. Roger M. Fuqua, Broadcast Engineer, Maintenance Technician. Raymond V. Harvey, Director of Information Services, Integrated Communications. Robert E. Holcomb, Financial Aid Coordinator, USC Union. Eugene S. Hubner, Professor, Psychology. Alicia W. Huji, Student Services Program Coordinator, USC Aiken. Thomas M. Hughes, Senior Instructor, Accounting. William H. Jefferson, IT Services Specialist 3, Baruch Institute. Diane Johnson Feelings, Professor, English. Jamil A. Khan, Professor, Mechanical Engineering. Dean H. Cress. Lecturer, Management. Jed S. Lyons, Associate Dean, Mechanical Engineering. Karen H. McGee, Clinical Associate Professor, Clinical Pharmacy and Outcome Science. R. Derek Maggie, Director, Government and Community Relations. James B. Miles, Program Manager 2, University Police Department. Donald E. Mills, Program Manager 1, University Technology Services. Carol A. Mitchell, Alumni Development Manager 1, Law Office. Alan A. Montgomery, Research Professor, Communication Sciences and Disorders. Robin K. Morris, Professor, Psychology. Nancy Newman, Nurse Practitioner, Health Services. Charles G. Partlow, Professor, College of Hospitality, Retail and Sport Management. Melinda N. Poor, Administrative Coordinator 1, Darla Moore School of Business. Susan J. Porter, Data Stewardship Program Manager, Instructional Services. Robert L. Price, Research Professor, School of Medicine. John C. Riley, Associate Professor, Natural Sciences and Engineering. Pamela D. Robinson, Program Manager 2, Law Office. Stephanie G. Sanders, Administrative Specialist 2, USC Saukahatchee. George F. Scott, Professor, USC Upstate. Michael A. Seaman, Associate Professor, Educational Studies. Angie H. Shumpert, Administrative Coordinator 1, Athletics. Lisa K. Spruill, Program Coordinator 1, College of Nursing. Caroline T. Taylor, Library Manager 2, Circulation. Edward W. Thompson, Student Services Program Coordinator 2, Housing Services Assessment Administration. Eugene G. Tucker, Trade 
Trade Specialist for Maintenance Services. Edward L. Walton, Executive Vice President for Administration and Chief Financial Officer, Division of Administration and Finance. Terrell C. Williams, Student Services Program Coordinator 1, USC Upstate. Jeffrey R. Wilson, Associate Professor, Physics and Astronomy. 20 years service award honorees. Brandon Aiken, athletics coach, USC Aiken. Carolyn S. Amick, administrative coordinator one, office of the vice president for research. George Andrealicus, professor mathematics. Jason L. Ayer, media resources consultant, Integrated Communications. Harry Bell, Trade Specialist for Parking Services. Claude A. Boyd, Environmental Health Manager 3, Radiation Safety. Verna C. Brantley, Research Associate, Institute for Families and Society. Stacy J. Breton, Administrative Coordinator 1, USC Beaufort. Kevin L. Brown, Athletics Coach. Duncan A. Buell, Professor, Computer Science and Engineering. Catherine G. Canino, Professor, Language, Literature and Composition. Bridget K. Coleman, Professor, USC Aiken. Marie A. Cook, Program Coordinator 1, College of Education. Stephanie H. Creesman, Student Services Program Coordinator 1, Undergraduate Admissions. Mary M. Crisp, Production Manager 3, Media Services. Suzanne M. Crua, Student Services Manager 1, Undergraduate Admissions. Jens Pierre E. Dotel, IT Consultant 1, College of Information and Communications. Frida M. Davison, Dean Library. Gay M. DeBarbiris, Student Services Manager 1, Housing and Residential Services. James D. Demarest, Associate Vice President, Facilities Services. Margaret L. Dennis, Administrative Assistant, Application Services. Betty J. Devendorf, Student Services Program Coordinator 1, Undergraduate Admissions. Anthony L. Dillon, Clinical Instructor, Integrated Information Technology. Fred L. Deans, Associate Professor, English. Sean C. Doyle, Printing Equipment Operator 2, Printing Services. Wilma C. Dozier, Accounting Fiscal Manager 2, University Foundations. Andrew R. Dyer, Professor, Biology and Geology. Timothy H. Easter, IT Services Specialist 3, University 101 and National Resource Center. Lisa A. Eichern, Professor, Law Office. Robert Ellis, Business Administration and Operations Manager, College of Arts and Sciences. Terry M. Eskins, Network and Systems Administrator 1, Data Center Operations. Scylla Farkas, Professor, Computer Science and Engineering. Stephen B. Fulmer, Administrative Coordinator 2, College of Engineering and Computing. Richard Lance Goodwin, Professor, School of Medicine, Greenville. Thomas W. Harmon, Public Information Director 1, Integrated Communications. Demetrius L. Harris, Student Services Manager, Financial Aid and Scholarships. 
Lawana C. Hill, Student Services Program Coordinator to College of Education. Kevin Hodges, Network and Systems Administrator, Tech Infrastructure and Operations. Cecil S. Holmes, Associate Professor, School of Journalism and Mass Communications. Harrison J. Holmes, Building and Ground Supervisor to Facilities Planning. Timothy E. Holst, Trade Specialist 5, Maintenance Services. John M. Hutchins, Education Associate, USC Aiken. Leon E. Jackson, Associate Professor, English. Laura B. Karras, Senior Instructor, Library. Debbie T. Cassianos, IT Manager 3, Research infrastructure support. Ronald D. Kennedy, Building and Ground Supervisor 1, Facilities Custodial. Kenneth W. Keverline, Chief Pilot, U of SC Aircraft. Richard A. Kilgore, Campus Maintenance, USC Beaufort. Stephanie D. Klein, Administrative Coordinator 1, Epidemiology and Biostatistics. Robin W. Clute, Research Associate Professor, Arnold School of Public Health. Randall T. Krenz, Trade Specialist 3, Landscaping Services. Robert T. Leach, Professor, USC Aiken. Clifford L. Lehman, Professor, School of Music. Brett P. Lee. Broadcast Engineering Maintenance Technician, Media Services. Andrew J. Leonardi, Senior Instructor, Natural Sciences and Engineering. Kelly E. Lewis, Building and Grounds Manager, Athletics. Angela D. Lease, Professor, Epidemiology and Biostatistics. Siafeng S. Leo, Professor, Educational Studies. Brooke McDonald, Production Manager 2, Media Services. Ashley Mathias, Public Information Coordinator, University Press. Christopher A. Matlock, Athletics Coach. James M. Mitch. Clinical Associate Professor, Department of Exercise Science. Brian J. Mahalik, Professor, College of Hospitality, Retail and Sport Management. Amanda W. Mills, Physical Technician to Carolina Card Office. Jeannie W. Moore, Student Services Program Coordinator to Graduate School. Troy A. Mathkovich, Student Services Program Coordinator 2, Academic Advising. Linda M. Niljas, Associate Professor, Department of Physical Education. Holly A. Pei, Professor, USC Upstate. Michael P. Parker, IT Supervisor 2, Media Services. James D. Patterson, Law Enforcement Officer 3, University Police Department. Marianne Pelleccia, Senior Instructor, English. Edsel A. Pena, Professor, Statistics. Christopher C. Poor, Program Manager 2, Application Services. Beverly E. Pott, Library Specialist, Government Information and Maps. Wendell D. Prescott, Fiscal Technician to USC Sumter. Lisa Ramos, Accountant, Fiscal Analysis One, Controller's Office. Scott J. Rice, Trade Specialist for Maintenance Services. Rosalind M. Richardson, Program Coordinator 1, Palmetto College. 
Michael S. Riffle, Production Manager for School of Medicine. Marva S. Riley, Administrative Assistant, School of Medicine. Latasha D. Robinson, Administrative Manager 1, College of Arts and Sciences. Andre R. Robinson, Student Services Program Coordinator, School of Medicine. David R. Rodriguez, Network and Systems Administrator, College of Social Work. John Fitz Rogers, Professor, School of Music. Sarah S. Scarborough, Student Services Manager 1, Student Life. James E. Sinton, Trade Specialist 5, Maintenance Services. Ruth Ann. Ann B. Schuler, Director, Adjunct Faculty, University Foundations. Archie D. Seidler, Trade Specialist 5, Facilities Energy Management. Tammy V. Small, Accountant, School of Medicine. Ashley E. Speaks, Student Services Program Coordinator, Financial Aid and Scholarships. Deborah O. Staley, IT Manager 1, Undergraduate Admissions. Allison A. Stepp, IT Technician 2, Infrastructure Services. Michael L. Stevens, Laboratory Technologist 3, Psychology. Brenda K. Stevens, Student Services Program Coordinator, Political Science. Melissa G. Stevenson, Library Technical Assistant. Johannes W. Stratman, Professor, Biological Sciences. Eileen Stroman, Student Services Program Coordinator 2, Financial Aid and Scholarships. Mary E. Stislinger, Professor, Instruction and Teacher Education. Elizabeth A. Suddeth, Librarian, Special Collections. Andrea H. Tanner, Professor, South Carolina Honors College. Carlton Taylor, Law Enforcement Officer 1, University Police Department. Teresa W. Truesdale, Media Resources Specialist 2, Institutional Events and Facilities. Benjamin S. Urbates, Trades Manager, Maintenance Services. Charles A. Wade, Public Information Coordinator, Coger Center. Tom Webb, Systems Architect, Relationship and Risk Management. Tracy L. Weldon Stewart, Vice Provost and Interim Dean of Graduate School, Office of the Provost. Christine A. Wernett, Department Chair, Professor, USC Aiken. Kim Weston, Student Services Program Coordinator 2, Graduate School. Laura C. White, IT Technician 2, Infrastructure Services. Deborah E. Wiley, Professor, Visual and Performing Arts. Delmage A. Williams, Mechanic 3, Vehicle Management. Nancy Williams, Administrative Coordinator 3, School of Medicine. Alicia Wilson, Professor and Director, School of Earth, Ocean and Environment. Catherine N. Wiskus, Senior Instructor, Languages, Literatures, and Cultures. Neil D. Woods, Professor, Political Science. Sharon M. Woods, Human Resources Manager 2, Employee Relations, USC Upstate. Legacy is not leaving something for people, it's leaving something in people. Peter Stropel. I am made of 200-year-old tradition and endless memories. I am made of unrelenting inquiry, home to those who raise the bar and raise it again. I am made of bright conviction, of grit, of growth, of greatness. I am South Carolina. Congratulations again to each of you. 
Um, our, um, we will be sending your state service award pins along with your certificates to you. Normally, we would be in the Russell House Ballroom. You would have walked on stage and had your picture taken with President Caslin, but because of the situation we're in, we're not able to do that. But I know it was great to see pictures of old friends, colleagues, and we're just grateful that you're on our team and continuing to do the work to transform the lives of the citizens of South Carolina. Congratulations to each of you. I know there were a lot of congratulations in the chat as we were showing the pictures. Continue to do that and we just want to thank you for being with us today and more importantly for your service all these years with the University of South Carolina. Hope you have a great week and thank you again for your um, commitment of time this morning.